What's up guys, it's Paul from Overkill Airsoft again, and today I'm going to be reviewing the AGM VSR-10 Spring Airsoft Sniper Rifle. So here's the gun, and sorry if this uh, if the gun doesn't fit um, in the screen, because it's just a sniper rifle and I know these things are big, so sorry if it doesn't fit in the frame, but I'll just move around for you guys. Um, this gun has 435 FPS with .20 gram BBs, shooting .20 gram BBs. Uh, the range on it is 200 to 230 feet. And the magazine capacity, which is right here, holds 25 rounds. Uh, I'm just going to go over parts of the gun first. Um, as you see, as you can see, the uh, mag gets held right under here. And you just push this button in to release it doesn't pop out or anything like on some uh, sniper rifles, just hold it in and pull it out. Uh, there is an adjustable hop up on the gun, which is right here. And I'm not the hop up type of person, but if you can see that, it's right here. And just push it that way for the hop up and push it this way for normal. I usually have mine all the way down on normal because then it, just to me it shoots straight. Um, the butt plate, this is rubber, uh, I can actually squish that in a little bit, but, um, butt plate's rubber, uh, the gun itself is hard plastic, um, and then the bolt action, right here, this is metal, and, uh, I think the bolt action, this right here, the, uh, trigger for the bolt action, uh, I believe this is metal also, and then the safety. Alright, so um, the sling is included with this gun, but I would not recommend using it just because uh, it is, it's not that great of a quality. Um, so I would recommend just purchasing a more heavy duty sling for this gun just because of the weight of it. I believe this is about 6 pounds. So it is a light um, sniper rifle, which is helpful. Uh, I know for some of you guys having a 9 pound or a 10 pound sniper rifle, that can be a little bit of a hassle when you're trying to run around the field and be mobile. Um, that is a little bit of a hassle to uh, just have that weight with you. So this is on the lighter side with the sniper rifles. Um, this, by the way guys, this is a very, very reliable gun. Um, I am going on my third year with, with having this gun. Um, so I have had this gun for a very long, very long time, and I've gotten to know, know, know this gun very well, um, and it is very reliable. I mean, this gun <laughs> it is a monster on the field. Um, I mean, I got this gun just when we were starting out. This was actually one of my first uh, really uh, good rifles, and one of my first really good uh, guns overall, and... Um, I mean, this thing was just a monster, and it really still is. This is a very reliable, very durable, and just, you know, it's a great sniper rifle to have. Um, I mean, it feels great when you're holding it. Uh, very comfortable, especially with the rubber butt plate. I mean, really just fits right in. As you can see, it just fits right in with my shoulder, and I can, I mean, I can just pick people off. Um, if you... Um, if you're thinking about getting this gun, the bipod and the scope is not included, so you will have to purchase one of those um, just separately. Uh, as you can see also, there is an integrated top rail for any type of optic system you uh, might have in mind for this gun, uh, but the scope does not get included, so uh, just buy a scope separately and you can attach it to the uh, rail system on the top. Um, I mentioned before that it is bolt action. Um, by the way, guys, for this bolt action, as you can see, on the bottom of the bolt action, it is a it is a bit loose. So every once in a while, I would just recommend tightening this right here with an Allen wrench. Very easy to do. T should take you about a minute. I mean, no hassle whatsoever. Just get an Allen wrench, tighten that thing up, and you're good to go. Um, but it won't fall off. I mean, this thing, it's not going anywhere. Just tighten it up every once in a while, and you should be good. Uh, the safety is right here, up there, and like that. Um, trigger, 
Yep. Uh, the orange tip, as you can see, guys, it did pop off of mine. Uh, it might happen to you, too. Uh, I don't recall how it happened, but, you know, it just popped right off. <coughs> but, um, I mean, I only take this thing out to the field. I don't take it anywhere else. Uh, so it should be fine. I mean, I don't really worry about it. But just letting you know, guys, if the orange tip does pop out, pop, pop off, don't worry about it. I mean, it doesn't affect your gun at all. So uh, just don't worry about it if it does. Um, I mean, oh well. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, this is a great starter, starter rifle for any type of person. If you're just getting into airsoft and you want to, and you want to be a sniper and um, <coughs> you really have that feel to pick people off, this is a great gun to have. I mean, it's not like one of those heavy-duty big sniper rifles or one of those gas-powered ones where it's just like bang, 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 you know. I mean, it's just a great uh, starter sniper rifle. And I mean, you really, with this gun, you really get into the feel of being a sniper. I mean, it's just, this sniper rifle is what it's all about. I mean, you just get into that feel of where um, you're sitting back, you're behind your team, or you could even be in front, and uh, you're just picking people off. I mean, th but, I mean, if you're just thinking about be starting being a sniper, or you're just starting off with airs airsoft, <coughs> this is a great gun to have. I mean, pick this up, because this will be... This will be very helpful to you, and it's just a great gun. Uh, it shoots absolutely wonderful. I mean, when I was first shooting this thing, I was so surprised. I mean, this thing could really go. I, uh, I, um, when I was shooting this thing, I would stand actually at the top of my driveway and shoot all the way down to the mailboxes way at the bottom, and that's a good, <coughs> I mean, that's a good football field. May, well, actually, maybe less, but... It's, it's a pretty long distance. I mean, I was really surprised when I... I mean, I could actually get there, and possibly I think I would maybe even hit it. But um, it just shoots wonderful. It's uh, great with um, the hop-up on or off. Just shoots beautifully. So, uh, yeah. Um, what else here? Uh, so, yeah, I think that pretty much covers the gun. Um, <coughs> as I said again, I have had this gun for a very long time, almost three years now. I've gotten to know it very well. Um, you know, for cheap as it being for $67.99 off of Airsplat, I mean, that's so cheap for a sniper rifle. But don't let that, I mean, don't let the price let you think, oh, this is a bad gun, it's only for $70. No. I mean, if you're just starting off and you're on a low budget, pick this up. I mean, very cheap, very cheap for a good quality gun. This is a good quality gun to have for a cheap price. <coughs> I mean, uh, really the only thing, there's nothing loose on it. Um, the only thing is just to tighten that back, back uh, bolt action thing. But uh, as you can see, well as you can hear, um, for me having this so long, uh, you can kind of hear the rattle in it when I fire it. Um, if that happens to you guys, it does. Don't worry about it. I mean, I've just had this thing for so long, um, and it served me so well. And I've just used this thing in so many wars and stuff before we started filming. Uh, just that's just wear on the gun, and um, that's just it being used a lot. And I actually shared this with some of my friends, and uh, yeah, that's just wear on the barrel, barrel, or just from shooting it so much. But um, when you first pick this thing up, I guarantee it will be quieter than what I just showed you, especially when you're shooting BBs out of it. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, um, that pretty much covers it, guys. Uh, as I said again, you can pick this up at airsplat.com for $67.99. <clears throat> I would recommend checking their site out. Great site. I mean, you can't beat their prices and you can't beat the type of guns they have. Great site. Check them out. The link will be in the description down below. Uh, so yeah, guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, this is the review of the AGM VSR-10 Airsoft Spring Sniper Rifle. And uh, this is Paul coming to you from Overkill Airsoft. I'll catch you guys next time.